A hatful of wickets tumbled in Northampton as promotion hopefuls Nottinghamshire fired and then faltered on day one. Northampton Knots had plenty of interest, with the home team needing a win to keep alive their hopes of promotion, whilst Knots just needed a draw to guarantee a swift return to the top flight. It was an uncontested toss with Knots electing to bowl, and immediately that decision bore fruit, with Newton falling LBW to Wood in just the second over of the day for one. Wood was amongst the wickets in his next over as well, claiming Duckett caught and bowled. Levy and his skipper Wakeley set about shoring things up for North Hans. But with 39 on the board, Wakeley became the third wicket down, caught Vessels off Hutton for 13. Levy then became Wood's third victim of the morning, falling for a brusque 35 off 30 deliveries. But Keogh and Cobb managed to hold things together in the run into lunch, albeit in painfully pedestrian manner, adding just 23 runs over the course of the next 15 overs, leaving Northants 83 for 4 at the interval. That became 86 for 5 not long after the players returned as Keogh was caught Mullaney off Hutton for 15, and in Hutton's next over he removed Murphy in exactly the same fashion, this time for a 7-ball duck, leaving the home team 6 down. Cobb was joined by South African all-rounder Kleinfeldt, and the pair put up some resistance over the next 10 overs to take Northants past 100. However, Cobb became the seventh wicket to fall on the day when he was caught by Vessels off Gurney for 36, and it was only really thanks to Kleinfeld's cameo 43 of 63 balls that the home team's score started to earn an air of respectability. The veteran fell, bowled by Samit Patel to leave the score on 164 for 8, but his swift hitting performance was picked up on by Buck, as Northants managed to add a further 30 to the score before their innings was wrapped up. Sanderson fell first, caught Mullaney bowled Patel for 10, before Buck was the last man out, bowled by Wood for 32, giving the hosts a first innings total of 194. Wood and Hutton doing most of the damage with the ball, but were it not for Kleinfeld and Buck at the bottom of the card, things could have been much worse for Northants. It left the home team over 30 overs to bowl at the visitors before the close, and after a short and steady start from the Knots openers, Mullaney and Libby, Kleinfeld made the breakthrough in the 13th over, bowling Mullaney for 15. Three balls later, Pajara was back in the pavilion, caught out by Levy off Kleinfeld for a third ball duck, and the visitors continued to struggle as four overs later Kleinfeld struck again, trapping Libby LBW for 13, leaving Knotts on 49 for three. Another four overs passed and Buck was brought back into the attack, and in his returning over he dismissed Patel LBW for another unlucky 13. And then in the penultimate over of the day, Vessels became Kleinfeld's fourth victim, nicking off for 19, leaving Knotts struggling on 80 for 5 at the close. 15 wickets falling in the day, Knotts still needing 114 to gain first innings parity in Northampton, with just five first innings wickets remaining.